it's bad news, right? It's bad news. Well, you have no idea how bad the news that the uh, the aid workers that were killed were, right? That's super duper bad news. Specifically, because the um, was it Shira the the Shira Hospital operation was a per- like like not just a perfect operation. The the they're gonna teach that in um, military academies around the world for years and years to come. Like people think, oh look at all the bomb down. No, uh, not one civilian casualty. Right, and my son, the, uh, which I didn't think was gonna happen before be, before I. Uh, uh, be, before I came on, uh, 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 before I, uh, the stream started, yeah, the uh, I I was just upstairs getting coffee, and I heard somebody in the back. At first, the dog went, was going crazy. I'm like, well, there's nobody at the front door. What's going on, right? And then I saw the dog left a massive poo in the living room. She never does that, right? So I was like, what's going? on? I heard somebody by the side door. As my son coming home from the from the war, right? I I, I didn't expect it because they cancelled over his leave. Because of um, you know uh, things he- heating up with Iran, right? Because for some reason we decided to kill the uh, uh, this one Iranian guy. I guess because we know it's going to. I'll tell you exactly why, right? I'll tell you why at the end of the story. Be- the the attitude behind, it. yeah, yeah. I will tell you exactly why. So wait, wait. Uh, uh, so he came home, right? And again, that's why the dog had this massive shit. She was so excited. <laughs> and it was a surprise, right? But anyway, the so they did he was in this perfect operation, right? The uh, Shira Hospital operation where they they basically it the um I can't tell you how they did it, but they 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 were built they the, the Hamas didn't know that Israel knew they were using it as a base again. Right, they and they, it was like this mis mis uh, direction operation where they suddenly surprised them with like a, a, a gazillion tanks and surrounded the building. Right, and then they got all the um, uh, what's the name about all the uh, uh, civilians out. Uh, uh, and listen, I want to be clear, so you know, people, there's like in every other war, civilians are being killed, right, mostly by accident. Right, right. I mean, like, not just, well, I'm not saying they're being killed on purpose. I mean, but they're being killed through, like, people pressing the wrong button. Like, accident. Like, that sort of thing. Not like, oh, I shot the wrong person. Right? (laughs) That's really how it happens. Like, every casualty in the um, the, uh, Shira Hospital operation, as I believe it, uh, was, uh, every Israeli casualty was uh, a a friendly fire. It happens. It happens a lot. I mean, my 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 son told me that he he, he saw a civilian get 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 shot with friendly fire, right? Like, just now, like five minutes ago, right? Uh, so it ha- that's what wars are like. But the um, so but they did this like textbook operation. It's like like literally perfect operation. Oh, my, my wife is calling me. Then fuck up beyond all fuck ups. They they target this. Uh, uh, foreign uh, aid convoy for destruction, and, and boy, did they do that! <laughs> At me, what a shit storm! What a fucking shit storm! Now, I'm... It sucks ass a lot because um, we're not treated fairly when we don't screw up. When we when they find anything, they uh, they uh, they're like, yes. This proves it. See, the basic premise is we Jews are evil. We uh, Israel is evil. And we evilly uh, stole this land 75 years ago. Evilly. We did it. And then we raped and we murdered. To, uh, then, then we kept the Palestinians prisoner in their own land and oppressed them horribly for 75 years. Why? No reason. Because we're cunts. We just did that. We just because we love doing that. See what's really going on when people say that is it's called projection. It's what if see also on the people who says who says somebody will do that. That means you're one of the people who would do that, right? So then, um, seventy-five years of uh, occupation. Fuck me. Seventy-five years of Jew haters. What it's been anyway. But that's, this is what they believe. This is what they believe. And so when you see a fuck up like this, you get. Uh, 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 
kicked in the balls relentlessly in the media, right? Like, like I, honestly, uh, yes, Israel, 100%, this was a massive fuck-up, right? Massive fuck-up. Um, like, genuinely a massive fuck-up. Uh, 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 and very bad for us, right? Because we are getting ready to go into Rafa. That's going to happen, right? Uh, uh, any second now, we think, unless, you know, this apocalypse goes down first. Uh, um, but, like, yeah, so, so, but it, it brings out, like, the the unbridled Jew hatred, right? Which I don't get, right? right? And then when I say unbridled Jew hatred, it's the assumption that because you're Israel, you're an evil uh, uh, fascist dictator uh, who's who like uh, uh, has abused the the poor Palestinians because just because you hate them because they have skin color which is the same as most Israelis is, is the wrong color to you right they think it's racist right man uh, uh, Julia Hartley whatever name Brewer had a bonkers guy on today right right anyway I'm going to show you something much more on the same side because it's easy to take the piss out of um, something totally bonkers, right? It's it, it's it's much easier, right? Oh, where is it, Doink? Um... This incident, three British. Now I don't know why, but the woman in yellow just fucking hates Israel. It, it just assumes we absolutely detest them, and it looks like she's got a cunty sister with her who hates Israel slightly more, right? And he's like, fuck me. This is my fault. What, like, what did I do to deserve this shit? Okay. Uh, um, if I could have been in that aid convoy, I would have jumped in rather than be here. Um, this incident, three British aid workers killed in Gaza. It has added to the worldwide outcry over the way in which Israel has conducted this war. How do you respond so, so how to you respond? that? Well, firstly, he's got to eat shit. Right, that's the only way he's allowed to respond. The truth of the response is we've conducted again. Look at the woman in pink. That, that sneer. Fuck you, Captain Cunt. Who the fuck? Oh, again, look at him. He looks like Winnie the Pooh who's just been kicked in the balls a couple of times. This is not that face. That face is how we all feel right now. I, I mean, like fuck me. This is not good. Why could we go and deal with uh, Tweedle Cunt and Tweedle Cuntier? And 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 not and not uh, rip them apart. Okay, so here's how the war's been conducted so far. Uh, uh, more humane than you cunt British have ever done it, or you Americans, right? Like, how many did you mow down in Desert Storm? I can't remember. I think it was eight civilians per enemy uh, combatant, right? Israel, according to the Hamas numbers, one to one, baby. Maybe one to two. But look at seething. How do you respond? I go eat shit now. Fuck me. Here it comes. Well, first of all, this is a devastating tragedy for the families and communities of those people of the World Central K Kitchen uh, uh, organization. By the way, this is why he has this job and I don't, right? Other than he also looks better in the uniform. It is a tragic mistake, a misidentification on our behalf. Uh, we are in the midst of an investigation. Well, I, I had to say, Firstly, none of you other cunt nations in the world held yourself up to the stance you, you hold us up to, right? None of you. Fuck you. Like, absolutely none of you. Uh, uh, and uh, um, if you did, you wouldn't conduct yourself as well as we have done where we say, yes, it was us. We're not lying about it. And then, and then they're going to go, oh, you're going to lie. Why were we lying? We just told you the fucking truth, you dumb cunt. ...that I expect to be concluded in the next couple of days um, so that we know exactly what went wrong. What was the mistake? Uh, you, you, say, you say confidently that this was a mistake. Which part of it was a mistake? Because this is three... What, the killing of the fucking... Why do you think we would want to do that? You say confidently this was a mistake. No, yeah, we absolutely want to eat shit like this. Oh, fuck me. Do you have any shit? I mean, for, forget that we're surrounded by everybody who wants to kill us because we are Jews. Uh, yeah, now forget that bullshit. Right, right. Forget that, like, yeah, we just had our uh, uh, you know, a last part of our country invaded and raped, and, uh, raped to death. Look at cunt face pink, pink chick over there, right? Fuck me. Oh, like, why are you sneering? God, yeah. Uh, uh, um, again, 
it, it's like, why on earth are you coming from the uh, point of view that we would possibly want this to happen? You see? You see? We confidently it was a mistake. Well, yes, we didn't want to kill them. We know that now in the cold light of day. Three separate attacks, three separate missiles hitting... You know the answer to that, right? The, the mistake was that they were targeted. They were misidentified as Hamas. Maybe because Hamas relentlessly used these aid workers as cover. Now, don't get me wrong. We totally fucked up, right? What what probably happened was it was, a, it was an 18-year-old who says, I bet that's, uh, I don't know... You know, Ahmed fuckface, right? We've been what we were Ahmed fuckface for ages. Yeah, let's go. That's how it went. I, I wasn't there. I'm not part of the investi investigation. Pound to penny. I bet. I bet that's how it went. Stupid kids being stupid, right? And also, look, the military is under a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure to so forget some info on the uh, 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 hostages, which might 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 just come in. Three separate cars that were clearly labelled. What are you claiming at the moment? Clearly labelled the middle of the fucking night in a war zone, you dumb cunt. It's not like we're dressing like you. Moment so confidently that was mistaken. It was a misidentification, and this is a uh, um, what our chief of staff, Lieutenant General Hertzi Halevi, said very clearly yesterday. Right, right. After this, he goes into a room with baby seals or the club and just snatches that fucking face in. Get rid of the rage. Look at this guy. Oh, he's doing so good. In the early hours of yesterday morning, that the misidentification was um, pre, uh, uh, was before the strike was conducted. Um, we need to understand what was the nature of that misidentification, um, what happened in the dark, in the early hours of, of darkness in the complex uh, scenarios of warfare. Um, and indeed, we have two. Uh, key components of our investigations that are ongoing. First of all, an operational component, an operational investigation. I mean, again, I, I think this guy's doing pretty good over here. Let's just get to cunt face answers, right? <laughs> oh, look. God, look at pink, pinky cunt face. Command investigation, which means... Uh, uh, he hit the bad internet button, obviously. ...means that uh, a former... ...that will have all of the tools and access to all of the information. Um, and they're not dependent on anything. And they're obviously because they are former retired officers, they don't they're not dependent on the promotion. <laughs> I mean, look at the scowling. Holy shit. These are two you remember and those imagine, that are coming do out, imagine coming and out and seeing your wife and her best friend like this looking at you. Fuck me, you're in trouble. And where have you been? <laughs> oh, okay, uh, uh, Cunt Face Pinky gets uh, have a question now. Let's hear you, Cunt Face Pinky. Let's hear how smart you are. It gets to the people in need, and those that are doing the humanitarian activities are protected. Yeah, and they don't they don't get killed doing doing that work. You know, that's the basic assumption that they communicate with you to say, this is where we are, this is where we're going to be operating, we need to be protected. I just want to put to you what the founder of World Central Kitchen has said. His allegation is that... Israeli forces targeted aid workers systematically car by car. That's what um, Again, we just answered that. What happened, isn't it? So again, I don't want to come to conclusions before and based on... Uh, this guy is awesome. What, uh, Chef? You could just kick him in the balls relentlessly and he'll be, they should make a doll of him. You could do anything and he'll still be like, well, I don't know what you should think about it. Uh, Jose Andres is saying, um, but indeed, the investigation will come to the conclusion. We'll be sharing that as soon as it's possible, uh, because it's important to be both transparent and, um, and and get to the bottom of this. And that is what we intend on doing. Um, so I don't want to confirm those um, facts, those issues. Of course, uh, there is a result of three strikes against the three vehicles, uh, which is clear. So I don't need to be um, uh, involved in investigation. Okay, fine. Just let's, let's, let's read him some more. You kill British people! We need to be very cautious in those numbers that are circulating. We know for a fact that some of those UNRWA aid workers were involved in the October 7th. Let's see, let's see a bit. I'm more of a furore over the fact that the IDF. Oh, yeah. Understand what was the source of the misidentification and what was identified. What 
workers who have already been killed by the IDF, aid workers. And what created this devastating result? And Peter, there have been over 200 aid workers who have already been killed by the IDF in Gaza. Why do you think it is now that three British aid workers have been killed, that there's far more of a furore over the fact that the IDF have made this so-called mistake? So-called mistake? Oh, you made it so... How is it not a mistake? How are you not a cunt? Right, right, uh, this so-called mistake. And why, why is it that the Palestinian aid workers, because they're not aid workers, you dumb fucking broad, for fuck's sake. I mean, how many of these people took part in October 7th, kidnapping, raping and murdering? Minimally seven, probably much more. How many of them supported it? A hundred fucking percent. So uh, um, do you reckon the ones that supported it may be a little bit, uh, uh, be, be, be a little bit naughty sometimes? Who knows? in killing aid workers. Why don't you think there was such an outcry when 200 Palestinian aid workers have been killed by the IDF? Palestinian aid workers. Again, cunty and cunty. Oh, fuck me. I think we need to be very cautious in those numbers that are circulating. We know for a fact that some of those UNRWA aid workers were involved in the October 7th massacre. Um, I, before I say anything, you've got to hear, you, you have to listen to the internal side, the internal side that goes, <laughs> so let's, uh, you know, we. Uh, so yeah, this is the shit we're eating now in Israel. Both who are familiar. As few as possible. Uh, it is Peter, a tragedy. Peter, we've had. Single day. Um, so of course, um, uh, in this incident with the WCK, uh, we have to uh, be very, very clear that there are hundreds of coordinations. Act, actions and movements that are taking place every single day. Um, so, of course, there, we have to make sure that no mistakes happen. Um, but it is a, a nature of the complexities and the fog of war that does happen on the ground. Uh, we need to strive to... Yeah, shit happens when you part your naked, darling. That's basically what he's trying to tell you. Limit and keep those mistakes as, as few as possible. Uh, it is Peter. a tragedy. Peter, we've had two guests on the show this morning, who, both who are familiar with IDF policy, who've suggested that it's accepted within the IDF that there could be around 15 to 20 uh, innocent civilians' lives taken. OK, this is incredible. You take what the British do and they you double it to make it worse and you project it back, right? No, the IDF, according to the Hamas numbers, right, have uh, the, the 31,000 dead. We're claiming, uh, uh, we're confirming 12,000 uh, Hamas fighters. I doubt they're 31,000, right? But let's take them on face value, right? 12, 24, 36. Uh, uh, we're getting a one in 2.8 ratio. Tragic. 2.8 uh, uh, civilians die per, uh, uh, um, per enemy combatant. Britain, one to eight. So fuck your one to twenty, you you clueless, hateful cunt. Per Hamas member, is that true? Is there a number given to IDF soldiers to say that it is acceptable for fifteen to twenty innocent people to die per Hamas soldier? That's ludicrous. That's nothing. To, that has nothing to do with our rules of engagement. Our rules of engagement are actually very clear. The enemy is the enemy. Civilians need to be spared. We have to do everything possible in order to limit civilian casualties. Um, of course, the, the the reality is that our enemy have and are trying to take advantage of the values that you and I hold dearly. They are intentionally. Well, when I say you and I, I, not you, darling. Embedding themselves within hospitals. Their intention. So you say, but you're just a sneaky Jew. Utilizing their tunnel system beneath uh, residential areas. They are using, used, used, and they have used schools and UN facilities to try. The tunnels are just for irrigation. I know. And shield their activities, intentionally putting people at harm, in harm's way, where we are going out of our way to try and limit the going, civilian. Peter, community. if you're going out of your why, out of your way, why are thirty-two thousand people dead? Why are there reports from hospitals? Why didn't you give a shit when you killed 200,000? Oh, they killed 200,000 in Syria. Why well, is 32,000 a lot, but 200,000 is such a small 
insignificant number that you didn't even know it. I'll tell you exactly why, right? Because the you don't give a shit about Palestinian lives. The only time you care about Palestinian lives is when you when you can say a Jew killed it, right? That's it. That's why. But you know, can you ask that question? Tweed will come and Tweed will come to you. Hospitals in Gaza that children are receiving gunshot wounds from sniper rifles. Maybe they're lying. Why is there such a high death count if you're going out of your way to protect civilian lives? So that number that you're quoting is the number that the Hamas Ministry of Health. What are your numbers? That that, no, that number is what the Ministry of what Hamas. What are your Ministry numbers, Peter? Distributing, and I would be quite frank. You know, Peter, I'm asking you a very simple question. What are your... Peter, I'm just interrupting you because if you answer me correctly, I'm going to look stupid. Very simple question, Peter. Numbers. What, are the, what is Israel's number of innocent civilian deaths in Gaza? And I'm trying to answer. I'm being very frank. We don't know civilian casualties. I'm t and I would challenge that Hamas also don't know. Um, they are basing their um, information on social media reports, not on facts on the ground. And I would, I would actually charge that... What we, they are not counting the terrorists that are being killed, or they are um, uh, the, the numbers and names that they've distributed have been really upside down. And, and that's why we need to be very, very cautious. Of course, this is a war in a densely populated area, in a very challenging reality. But how can you be cautious if you don't even know the numbers war. of innocent civilians who, who have been killed? I'm trying to, I'm really trying to wrestle. Okay, let me, I'll, I'll explain it to you, because you're such a dumb cunt, okay? It's really simple. Hamas, those people who raped children and burnt them to death, right? Those people, right, who you love so much. Oh, Hamas, we love you. At least you're not Jews. Uh, uh, Hamas, uh, uh, they also fib. I know. Do you remember when uh, 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 they said, the Israelis have bombed a children's hospital. 500 Palestinian babies are dead. And it turned out that it was, in fact, an Islamic Jihad missile that misfired and hit a parking lot, killing no one, right? And then you all forgot about it, right? They lie. So when they put on social media, Allah, I have been killed by the Israelis! Right, when they do that, that's called lying. And when they lie, then you believe them. You know why you believe them? Because you are, uh, frankly, uh, awfully dressed. Uh, uh, just absolutely. I mean, honestly, you're not. You're not. You're not like knocking professional at the park right there. You look. You look like a uh, um, some kind of sideshow or uh, sideshow uh, attraction or game show host or say No, somebody will hold up a suitcase on a game show. More, more of that sort of thing. Uh, um, and it's certainly not unusual. So I can't understand. How is it that Hamas said you kill all these people and you're not awful cunts? Because they're fucking lying, you fucking stupid cunt! Ah! With this idea that you're being very precise and careful, and yet you cannot give me a number. You happily will give a number of Hamas um, members who have died, but not innocent civilians. Why wouldn't you give us a number that we don't know, that you don't know? You'll tell us a number you do know, but you won't tell us a number you don't know. Is it because you're really a sneaky Jew? That could be. It doesn't quite quite work. Because we don't. Because you're a dummy, darling. Because you you got your job clearly because you know how to suck dick. Because you suck ass at the job. So I'm assuming you could at least suck a dick, right? You suck ass at being a anchor, but you must at least be good at sucking. If you can't suck a dick. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. Uh, 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 your little pinky gun next to you, at least she's, at least she's got, got a nice rack, is all I can say. It's very clear because we don't target civilians. We target Hamas terrorists. Our enemy is the, the terrorists. So I can say that with, with a good level of confidence that anything between 11 and 13,000 terrorists have been killed at the, at, the, at the strikes of the IDF. That is what we know. No, because those are the people, those are the enemy, those are the, um, uh, those that are... See, what we do is this, when we aim our guns, right, we look down the sights and we count the people the bullet's going to hit, and we go, bam, right, and we see they fall over, and then we write, one, right, and then we do that again, bam, see, because we know we're killing them, because we see them, right, we write it down, too, but the people we don't kill aren't dead, 
because Hamas lies, right? Damn, that's wrong. There's a lot of death going on in Gaza, right? There's a lot of death. Taking advantage of the civilian arena, those that have weaponized the civilian arena, those are the people we are targeting. So when we have confirmed... I, when they show the Shufa hospital here, which my son was literally just at, you, they're supposed to make you go, oh, those evil Jews. I'm going, fuck me, we, we did a good job. <laughs> those are the people we are targeting. So when we have confirmed kills by our airstrikes or our forces on the ground, so those are the numbers that I can confirm. I don't know because we are not targeting civilians. Civilians are uh, caught up in this war are a tragedy. It's a war that Israel never wanted, a war Israel was forced into. So you say. By Hamas that launched a war on Israel on 7th of October. If you're expecting us not to fight Hamas because they're hiding behind the people of Gaza and raise a white fly, flag of surrender, I'm afraid that won't cut it. We will I don't not, think we your will allies are expecting you not to do that. Uh, the no, we're just not expecting you to hurt anybody. It makes us sad. And especially if you don't hurt people and the people who are bad say you hurt people, that makes us sad too. So if they tell us you hurt people, even if you don't hurt them, you hurt them because you're an evil, bloodthirsty Jew. And I, I'm just going to make a guess. The uh, uh, the pink chick on, on, the, uh, on the left right now, uh, uh, she's uh, in a position explaining how she got her job too. <laughs> Words of our prime minister is that Israel's actions are because. Oh, Rishi Sundik, who gives that? That means that uh, uh, we can all agree. Fuck me, Hamas and, and and the Jews can all come together and say we hate Rishi Sundik. Right? He could actually bring peace. Fuck me, he could get a Nobel Prize. Look at the yellow, the yellow jacket cunt right now. Ooh, I'm going to stare so intently and stop my little feet is. Coming increasingly intolerable really quickly. Um, you run the risk of alienating your allies, the US, at the UK. We could be in a situation where technology that the UK... Oh, fuck off. Speaking of increasingly intolerable, I can't. I can't, I can't. So, to me, this looked pretty bad, right? To me, this looked pretty bad. Now, added on to that, Right. My daughter was nearly killed last night. Uh, do I have the... Uh, uh, no, two nights ago. Where's the, where's the uh, news article? Uh, do, do, do. God. You could... Uh, not there. My wife sent it to me. Oh, here it is. Fine. There's a... I'll grab, I'll grab the video that, that, uh, that goes with it. Then we'll get to the chat. Then we'll get, get to the chat. Where's the video? Here it is. Is it on YouTube? So I can download it. Do I? Ah, oh, they won't let me download it. I don't. No, I don't want to do that either. How do I do this? Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just have to share the screen. If I do it like this, I'll make it bigger. That might work. That might work. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, now I can't see where I am. Bloody hell! Yeah, share screen. Share screen. Oh. Ah, it's over here. Chrome tab. Fine. Fine. So here you were. Uh, is this it? So this is like uh, uh, the you know, the checkpoint near my local town. And yes, the Jews and the uh, 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 Arabs all have to go through the same checkpoint. I wish I could download this so we could see it, see it more clearly, right? But uh, uh, so my, my daughter works there checking, right? And there's uh, this guy rammed the, the, the police. Where is it? I'm not sure if you can hear the sound. The sound's terrifying as they get out and he's like running at you with a knife. All right, so yeah, that's the knife, if you can see it. And I think, I think my daughter is like just uh, 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 on the other side, right? <laughs> like she's, uh, uh, I think she was either on this one or the one, uh, the, the 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 next one over, right? But that she's really close to being killed right now, right? That might be her <laughs> that they're, they're aiming at. I'm not sure, but I didn't think they were that close. <laughs> But, you know, thank God they shot him. And they're, and, and because they shot him, we're going to say, how dare you Israelis kill another innocent Palestinian? Mm -hmm. 
How dare you? Right. That well, they were. He was with a knife. Doesn't matter. He was innocent because we say so. Yes. Yes. Anyway, anyway. So my son came home. I was asking him. He's saying they 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 like they, they he he's got a few days off. He said, but that could change it any second, right? There was stuff going on with the arm. That could change literally any second. So, uh, uh, but he's, he's, he's got a few days. Or so, 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 so like, you know, they're freaking out about these aid workers killed. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, and then, well, that, do you think that, 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 that will hold, hold back Rafa going into it? He's like, <laughs> whatever. You know, <laughs> that's such his really attitude. Right, like they are going in. <laughs> it's like it's going, it's going down. I don't think anybody can stop it. Right, I really don't think any anyone can stop it. My name's Vila Beck, and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.